Reddit, what is the worst secret your so is keeping from you, but that you actually know? I don't know. She never told me. I know she had a tough time before we met but she never would discuss it other than she had had an abortion and was scared that it would mean we wouldn't have a child together. We were together 25 years. Didn't have a child. And I lost her to bowel cancer 9 years ago. I've been living dead ever since. I know about her Reddit alt. I think you just made a couple hundred women's hearts skip a beat. She tells me she has to go poop but I know she just goes in there to browse IG and FB to get away from me and our craziest kids for 15-20 minutes. Broke up a few days ago. But she would send lewd snaps of herself before after showering to her guy friend. One time I was just laying in bed and she went to shower. Turned the water on. Heard her clothes fall to the floor. Then I heard the iPhone camera sound. Didn't think anything of it. Weeks later. Similar situation. I walk in to use the restroom and see her camera right as she takes a snapshot of her just barely not showing her nipples and biting her lip. I couldn't read the name of the recipient. But name had unmistakable images on it and I knew who it for. I just said to okay and did my business. She kind of fumbled some sort of excuse but I just didn't say anything. Broke up the following week for a multitude of reasons. But that definitely didn't help any. My girlfriend buys cookies. Chocolate. Or sweets of some kind and then hides the wrappers. I find them in odd places around the house and car. Edit. Personally I am fairly vocal about the junk food I eat. Think of it as self-shaming. I'll hold my gut and it will thank me for making sure there is plenty of bread and beer around. I assume my girlfriend see, because she often sees it, this and is a bit embarrassed when she eats junk food. It doesn't happen all the time. I will ask or probe gently about an eating disorder related things. Thanks for your concern you kind. Nosy. Generous. Busybodies. Not me. But a friend. My friend dated a co-worker for a while. His girlfriend was starting to become friends with my girlfriend and at a party. I overheard her drunkenly telling my girlfriend that she'd go to work parties and frequently make out with their other co-workers. Being my best friend. I told him. A couple days later at work he was about to talk to her about it. But before he brought it up. She broke up with him because she wasn't used to someone being this nice to her. She never found out that he knew. After 5 years. I still catch her touching up her makeup as she is parked outside before she comes in and she's never mentioned that she does this. She told me today she doesn't like double stuff Torius and sorry for not telling me sooner. I knew and only bought them because she wouldn't eat all of them. Edit. Crazy thanks for the upvotes y'all. I told her and admitted my secret. We've had a good laugh about it thanks to y'all. That using the restroom means he's going to poop. He only says that when it's a number 2. Also he was using my body wash for a month because he liked to smell pretty. Comma because he liked to smell pretty. God damn right. For Christmas I bought my husband a DVD of a concert he went to. While I'm at work he unwraps it. Watches it. I know he considered leaving me 2 years ago, 10 years together now. He has no idea I know. He occasionally buys cookies when I'm at work and eats them all. It's fine. I sometimes eat candy only after he's gone to bed. Guess neither of us like to share our treats. I know that he beats himself up constantly for the things he can't give us. Tonight is our anniversary and we can't do anything because we're broke. He's had our kids all day so I can do homework and has been eating himself alive about the whole situation. What he doesn't know is that I don't care. I'm just happy he's mine. He's a great dad and a great husband. For better or worse. Richer or poorer. Till death do us part un. Edit. Holy jeez this is the most reaction I've ever gotten. Thank you for the gold. And thank you to everyone with your kind wishes and thoughtful offers. It warms my heart to see there's so many good people out there. 
I know that my GF has joined a lawsuit against a certain taxi carpooling company regarding being s sorely assaulted by one of their drivers. I know about the assault. But she hasn't told me about the lawsuit. Just saw a message from the lawyer handling her case one day and haven't asked her about it or brought it up. I know what he got me for my birthday. But that's okay. I'm excited. My now fiancé registered sign had my engagement ring hidden for almost 3 years. We picked it out together and he wasn't good at hiding that he bought it. He also wasn't good at hiding it because during one of our moves he hid it in one of my boxes. I told him I knew he had it once he proposed and he was so upset but it was really cute. He tried so hard to hide it but he really can't keep a secret. It. I should add that I told him I knew about a week later. I didn't say I knew about it right when he proposed. After 20 years together I would love to know he had a secret. He tells me everything. Earlier today he sneezed and pooped his pants. He didn't have to tell me. He just did. There needs to be some secrets. She's cheated I'm more than she's telling told me. But she knows my account so let's see if she finds out. Edit. I'm going to bed. This isn't one of my happiest moments. I know I put it out there, probably shouldn't have. And I appreciate the kind words. But it's not something I want to think talk about 24 stroke 7. If this gets found out I will add a secondary edit to inform all the remains. My wife sneaks beef jerky. We've been vegetarians for 20 years. Well. I've been vegetarian for 20 years. She enables her junkie brother she swears she wrote off. He's been in and out of rehab so often they had to replace the door. I knew what he was going to get me for Christmas in like November last year because he was showing me a list of what he was going to get our friends and I saw my name. My wife loves sweet tea. Whenever we go to the store. We always get a gallon of me lost sweet tea. She drinks it so much to the point where I get none. Every so often. I buy two gallons of sweet tea. One of the brand she hates, because it tastes bad, and the other of me loss, which I hide from her until the coast is clear, and when she is at work. I pour out the nasty sweet tea. And pour the me loss into that falling. Resulting in her never drinking it. Kind of a jerk move but she will not stop drinking all the sweet tea before I get some. My husband thinks I can't hear him fart when he's smoking cigarettes on the back porch. It's kind of endearing. I know every once in a blue moon he snoops through my computer for... something? I'm not sure what he's looking for but it's fine. Sometimes people have insecurity issues. Camming with other men. He's ex so now. For a multitude of reasons. My ex cheated for the better part of our relationship. I knew about most of it but stuck it out for the kid. At one point she stayed at a friend's house for a few days. No reason why. Couple months later while going in her wallet I notice an ultrasound with date stamps for around the time she was gone. I assumed she had an abortion during that time. I finally worked up the courage to leave that relationship about a year later for many reasons. I have never talked to her about that. And don't ever plan to. But can't help wonder if it could have been mine? Probably not but you never know. Dude holy shit you deserve to be better to yourself. Never allow someone to treat you with such disrespect. No longer my so. But technically never found out I knew so I guess it's related. My ex cheated on me while I was away from home for a few months. And after about a year of trying to get back to an okay place in our relationship I found out that at one point during this span of time when we were back in our hometown again she said she was going to go hang out with some old friends. But went to go see the guy she cheated on me with again. I have no details on what actually happened. But I can't take a wild guess. The sad part is I only found out because she actually asked the person she told me she was going to go see to lie about being there. And I would have never even talked to them to find out otherwise. She basically ratted herself out. But I never told her I found out. It's one of the many reasons I gave up on her entirely. Found out my ex so was cheating on me from pretty much the beginning. 
About 2 years in I started to notice her getting weird messages from some guy halfway across the world. Snooped a little bit and found out she world routinely ask for nudes. Talk about how shtty I am. And would talk about one day meeting up to FCK. I confronted her on the issues multiple times. And she promised it was all just a bunch of jokes. A few months later I noticed she downloaded different apps to chat with this guy and never stopped. FCKU2J. He thinks I can't hear him from the sofa when he farts in the bedroom. I get a kick out of it. My current so told my best friends, and mutual friends of us both, that she was planning on kicking me out of our apartment because she wants to live with one of them and that she also wants to start dating the other one when she's kicked me out. Thankfully they warned me months back and so I've been stashing money and preparing to move out myself along with their help. When my husband and I first started dating he didn't know how to tell me he didn't enroll for college this year so he would pretend to go to class every day and go hang out with one of his friends. I started to catch on when I noticed a pattern of him always skipping class or if we were doing something and I remember he was supposed to have class he would always just say it's cool. I don't need to go. The final straw was when it was midterms and he still hadn't bought any books. I never called him out about it and after a few months he finally came clean. We didn't fight about it. I said I was disappointed that he didn't think I would understand the situation. He didn't enroll because he was having some family issues. Which he didn't want to burden me with because we had only been together a few months. Comma he is a big ball of anxiety so I knew it wasn't from a malicious place whatsoever. Still together and married and stronger than ever. Former so. He was a closet alcoholic. I knew when he was drinking. I knew when he was drunk. Even called him out on it from time to time. Never ended good for me so I stopped. He swears he's sober now but I don't believe him. He told me he was sober before. Honestly. After 20 years of marriage. If either of us is keeping a secret. It's because we just forgot to tell the other. My husband takes a shower when he needs a big dump. Door locked. Shower on. Emerges dry. About 10 years ago my wife drunkenly made out with a guy friend of hers at a birthday party. I only knew because she left her messaging client open where she confessed it to her best friend. I let it slide because she seemed genuinely upset that she did it and vowed to her friend that it would never happen again. We've been married for over 20 years now so it hasn't dampened the relationship at all. Now mind you I never left the two of them together alone again. I'm forgiving. Not stupid. She backed my truck out of the garage and smashed the mirror on the door frame. She said someone must have hit it at the grocery store. She backed her car out of the garage and smashed the mirror on the door frame. She said someone passing her got too close and bought just her, her breaking it. I found the impact marks and glass on the floor both times. She still denies she hit them on the garage doors. She texts her ex all day every day. Selfies. Tells him he misses him. They have movie text dates where they watch the same movie at the same time. They fall asleep on the phone together. Worst for me is they talk shti about me and she refers to me as number 3 as in her third boyfriend. She makes stuff up and will tell him something I did that never happened and they will call me a PSSY and laugh. She hasn't sent nudes yet and never agrees to meet up with him in person although he frequently tries. She will occasionally mention to me oh my ex is texting me he is so annoying. Meanwhile she's waiting for me to sleep so she can watch a movie with him. Sucks finding out through our kid's tablet that is synced with her phone. I'm still not sure how or when I'm going to break it off. Ouch. Yeah you need to get away from that. Man. Good luck. After my car was almost stolen. I installed Lojack on my car and my ex-wife's car for safety reasons. She saw me working on her car and I mentioned a bunch of times that I was putting it in my car as well. I kind of figured she knew what I was doing. When she would go to the gym she was actually at her ex's house. Confronted her about it. She lied through her teeth every time. She was engaged with her abusive ex for a short while before they eventually broke up. 
Guy I used to work with who's good friends with her ex told me. She never told me. I guess she's embarrassed and I'll let it go. It. A 50 stroke 50 chance of finding a feel good relationship story. My wife tries to hide her farts by going into the bathroom and sitting on the toilet to do it. She thinks turning on the fan masks the sound but we have thin walls and I can always hear them loud and clear. She'd be mortified if she found out I know. My so of 4 years gave me his phone to look for some passwords on his notes app so he could log in to his school account. I found a note with my name in it and couldn't help myself. He wrote out this dream he had where we had a daughter and started a family together. He was so detailed and seemed so happy. I thought it was so cute that he would want to write and remember this dream. He never told me about it. But I do know he wants kids. Especially a daughter. I feel like this was his dream come true dream. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to embarrass him. He's not very emotional. My BF loves to look up shoes for good deals and I always browse with him. When it was my birth month he would ask for my size and such and be all curious but would say he's just wondering what the prices are. A box came to my front office and he told me to pick it up since he didn't want the office to be closed before he got home. He always lets me open his packages and so I did with this and saw a pair of shoes in my size haha <laughs> I taped it up so fast and he came home without a clue. I looked completely surprised the day of my birthday and he was super happy about it so I just never bring it up. He tells me everything so this is about as saucy as it gets. Was not married but I found out about it. Found out a then gf was bulimic. After living together for a few months I came home. When she was at work. To cook chicken in the oven. I could not find the cooking dish to put the chicken on. I looked everywhere in the kitchen and all around the house. Last place to look was under our bed. I found the tray with crumbs of brownies. I immediately knew what was up. I confronted her right away when she came home and she screamed at me and said it was wrong of me to find out. Also found out she did cocaine. Comma she screamed at me and said it was wrong of me to find out. Well. That seems unreasonable. Is she unreasonable? Comma also found out she did cocaine. Oh wait. He watches PRN without me on his phone in the bathroom before we have air sex. I kind of want to talk to him about it and tell him it makes me feel like I don't do IT for him. But I think it's more because I just don't care for PRN that much. This thread is a lot tamer than I expected. She said Girl Scout as more cookies was sold out. But she actually hid them behind the baking supplies because they're on a top shelf in a low cabinet because I'm tall and can't easily see there unless I'm digging for baking supplies. Rare. It's okay. Though. Because I secretly bought several boxes. Two. And put them on top of the kitchen cabinet since she's short and can't see reach. Not together anymore but she used to pick her nose and wipe the boogers on the underside of the standalone sink that I installed. Ever once in a while I would clean the sink and scrape them off and they would reappear. For a while I figured she knew I knew but still did it anyway. Now I think she just genuinely did it without ever thinking about it. That's. Found out my ex so was a predator. The closet alcoholism and meth addiction wasn't half as a surprise as when he finally assaulted a minor. Till not all couples fart in front of each other openly. I know all the disgusting. Embarrassing things he did going through puberty. Like. All of them. I would like to not know about the noodle incident. But here we are. You can't drop the noodle incident and not be expected to share with the class. That is best friend since college. Whose wife just had baby no. 2. Just broke off the emotional affair he was having with a coworker. I'm glad my husband was a good friend. I know he counseled his friend to make the right decision for him and his family. And the friend took his advice and broke it off about a month before the baby was born. I'm hoping it it works out for them. And I'm so 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 proud of my husband for being such a solid and stable guy.